And just like that, your girl has some inches. I love these because look, what wig? Where's a wig? There is no wig. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today, I have another wig review, and listen, I know I've been doing a quite a few, but I don't know, I just feel like these wigs have been giving me so much life, and I love the versatility that I get wearing them because this is a fresh perm, this is my hair, I did it last night, and I mean, I have medium length hair, my hair is healthy, it feels good, and it's like this because I only wash it once a week, I only put heat in it once a week, maybe twice, and the rest of it is just these protective styles. So I've really been enjoying getting to try new looks, stuff that I never would be able to do with my hair, or just amping it up a little bit. And today, we're gonna amp it up just a little bit. So I'm gonna show you a new wig that I got, but before I get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So you know the drill, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you know every time I upload. I'm not gonna keep you guys waiting. If you wanna see what wig I'm gonna be showing in this video today, stay tuned and keep on watching. So the brand we are working with today, y'all have seen this purple box. You've seen a couple of these purple boxes on my channel. This is Love Me Hair, and this wig is a U-part wig. Now, I do have a U-part wig already. I believe I got it from Love Me Hair, and I bought the Kinky Straight Texture, and this time, they asked me if I would like to review. I'm gonna put a picture for you guys to see. You guys know I like to give you visuals. This is their body wave unit, and this one is in 14 inches. So I picked this length because this is the length I'm most comfortable with whenever I wanna do something that's not too glam, looks a little more like my hair. And I feel like whenever I wear these, it pretty much just gives my hair, it gives the look of my hair, but with a little more volume and just a little more body, a little more sass, you know the drill, like just, Maybe I don't feel like curling my hair that day, but I want my hair to look nice. I can curl a wig though. So this is what the packaging looks like. You've seen this purple bag several times and it does come with two wig caps. Two wig caps in the pack. And then you also get this gorgeous bag. I'm trying not to hoard these, but I absolutely love them. And you have your headband, your scarf, an elastic band, of course, your barrette, y'all have seen all this, bobby pins, and our edge brush, and some tweezers that I just dropped. So, all the stuff that comes in your standard package. And then I also keep these little bags, because when I travel, I put my wig back in here. And let's see what she looks like. Haven't even opened it. So this is it, straight out the pack, yes. So it is a silkier texture, but you see the curls there at the bottom. And I'm actually, I'm not gonna go wash this, I'm going to put it on and I'm going to recurl it just a little bit. I did get this in natural color it can be dyed, but I don't dye that. It comes with this little, I hope you guys can see, this little string here just keeps this in the U shape. Then there's two combs right here, and then one comb that you'll clip in the back, and then you have another comb at the nape, and then your adjustable straps as well. So we're gonna cut this little part in the front, but y'all, this is so fast and easy, absolutely love it. As you can see, just cutting this little string to be able to open the U part. And you can wear this on the side, you can wear it in the middle. If you wear it on the side, of course it's gonna be a little bit asymmetrical, but if you curl it, you ain't gonna be able to tell that. Nobody should be looking at your hair like that anyway. 
So y'all know me, I am a side part girl. Easiest thing with these is all you have to do is take a little bit of your hair as a leave out. So because I'm gonna wear mine here on the side, we're gonna start here and then take a little bit here. And we'll say about here, let's just see. So we got our little U and I'm going to just pin this. Let me tell y'all, when I put these on, usually I don't even like do all this. I'll put a little ponytail in the back. I am not worried about so much of it laying flat and doing all that extra stuff because <laughs> that's cute because I really just want it to be fast, easy, and go. So I'm gonna take my hair and I'm gonna put it in a ponytail. I'm not gonna put a wig cap on because I'm not gonna be able to put it on right with this. I'm sure some video on YouTube somewhere shows how you can like wear a U part with a wig cap and all that stuff. People are so creative these days, but so my hair is just in a little, this is gonna be flat, so we're fine. So I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to do this. One trick that I learned whenever you're putting these in, I have fine hair. So sometimes when I've put my clips in, they kind of slide down. You can tease your hair here. If I can pull it out a little bit. You can tease your hair where the clips is gonna be just a little bit to give it a little bit of body so that it will stay versus your hair being too soft and it just slides through it. This part should be fine, this should be fine. And you just put this on like you do a normal wig and just leave your part out and that is it. There is minimal styling required. I'm putting the adjustable straps, not as tight as they can go, but I'm putting them pretty tight. This is a medium cap. And we are gonna put it to the side a little bit because I do want to keep my side part. So I just kind of get it situated on the top first. And I get it to where I can feel it kind of fitted around my hair. Look at that, instant length. You just clip it and go. So we're gonna clip here, which I think should be far enough up front. You just have to figure out where the best place is for you. Push it down, that is in place. This might be a little too much hair left out, but we'll see. Oh no, it's not. There we go. So put this back here, and then this side we are going to clip. Well, how about we do the back first, Barbara? Let's go ahead and clip the back where we want it, which my back part is a little slick, but that feels secure. And then our side. I wanna try to get it as close to the part as I can, but I also want it to be flat. So there you see, you can see this is not gonna matter because my hair is gonna cover it. This is pretty close here, this is back here. So now, take the clip out. And it really is just a matter of playing with where you want your hair to be. And I mean, this is literally it. You see no more of the wig. I can even pull a little bit out here in the front if I want to. I'm gonna connect the back because I have not done that yet. Which my middle comb in the back is a little off to the side, but that's okay. And just like that, your girl has some inches. So the trick with these is pretty much just you have to figure out where you wanna place it. I actually have a little of my hair sticking out, but even now, like I love these because look, what wig, where's a wig? There is no wig. I love these. Now, another tip that I've learned, if you buy a wig that has a silkier texture like this one does, you do wanna make sure that you flat iron your hair 
and make it as smooth as possible to try to mimic the texture of the wig. So I think we're covered in the back. Everything good there. Look at how easy that was. A few minutes. Now we have some length and it doesn't look, even though I have an asymmetrical look, we're good. No one's gonna know. So now we're gonna get into the styling part. I am putting a little bit more of the sleek and shine in my hair because the wig is shiny and I want my hair to be shiny too. And we are gonna style this. We're gonna curl it a little bit more just to give it a little more body. And that will be it guys, this is so easy. Let's get into the styling. All right, so I'm just gonna spray some hairspray. I'm gonna curl a few little pieces that I feel like are falling. I'm gonna spray some hairspray just to make sure that my curls hold. And that is it. Once it's styled, you are set already. You don't have to do anything else. Put it on your wig stand, and then when you're ready to go, just put it on and go. I love these wigs. And I will show you guys the back so you can see how it lays but i mean my hair was nice before but come on this is way better and like i said the best thing about it is minimal heat on my hair just this part here and i just like to run my fingers through it so that it's not too does it disturb the curls too much? They can still be big, beautiful, bouncy curls. This little part here in the front just wanted to do what it wants. My hair holds a curl a lot faster than this hair does, so calm down, little hairs. <laughs> Look at this volume. My hair could never, and I wouldn't ask it. That's why we wear wigs. All right, guys, so this is it for the final look. I want you guys to be able to see how this looks, how easy it was. You watched me style it. This is how the hair looks from the side. I like that it still has a little bit of the wave from the original texture, the way it came out of the pack. Yeah, I love that it has the original texture pattern still in it, but it's so bouncy. And like, this is on my head. This is not going anywhere. I ain't gonna pull it too hard because I love my hair and I don't wanna pull it out, but just, it looks so good. And because you can't see tracks, there is no lace in the front. This is my hairline, my hair flat ironed, it's a little bit different, you know, I mean, different hair texture, but it's still close enough that it's not a huge, obvious glaring di difference. So that is it. Absolutely love it. I gotta go to the gym, but I think I'm keeping this on because she cute. I'm so glad I picked this one because it is different from my other one. So now I get to change it up. Thank you, Love Me Hair, for sending me this wig. I absolutely love it. And again, this is the 14 inch. 
It is a U-part. Let me tell you the exact specs. I always want to make sure I get this right for you guys. This is the U-part. Put the picture here. Quick, easy, affordable wig. And it says that beginner newbie friendly. Install within 10 minutes. If I didn't have to curl it, it would have been that fast. No glue, no lace, but realistic. Natural melt, protective hairstyle. My hair is safe. And also, just to tell you, if you're wondering about the density and all that, this one is... It says it's 250 grams, 100% virgin hair, natural black, can be dyed, 22 and a half inch cap. So that is all the details, you girl. Yeah, this is me. This is me like boss, like where to work, where to dinner, come out shaking my hair. You know how we do when we get a new do? I'm gonna end this video before I just keep talking and shaking my head. Thank y'all for watching. Thanks for sticking to the end. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I hope you stick around, join the family. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.